Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram here. We have discussed uh, a series on infant formula feeding. One important topic that we didn't address was how to choose the right teat or nipple size for the baby's feeding. So it's very important to get the teat size correct. And uh, if a vigorous baby is fed using a small teat, the nipple will collapse and the strong suction generated by the baby's effort will make it uh, suck in. It worsens even more when the baby is frustrated because the milk is not flowing and the baby starts uh, sucking even more vigorously causing the teat to literally close so no milk will flow to the baby. So it's very important to recognize and change to the next size in a timely fashion. So the nipple sizes range from 0 or preterm and there are size 1, 2, 3, 4, size 1 being the standard term teat. Different companies brand their sizes differently so you may have to verify the smallest range for that company. Uh, the difference is not only in the size of the nipple but also in the softness or compressibility and the size of the hole. The size of the hole is a main difference for the teat sizes. We should avoid arbitrarily enlarging the hole with a needle as the excess flow is not really controlled and if there is a sudden increase the baby can choke while feeding. And in some special situations like a baby with cleft palate or a small chin we may need to use a specialized teat like the Haberman teat which I have discussed in a different video on supporting feeding. When should we consider moving to a larger teat? So this is depending on how well the baby is coping with the current size. Some babies are perfectly happy dealing with the size 1 teat even when they are more than 6 months old and some of them don't transition to the next size at all because they have adapted to the feeding. But there are some signs which suggest that the baby will need to uh, move on to the bigger size teat. And uh, the typical signs that indicate that you need to move to a bigger size is that the baby takes longer to finish feeding, the baby becomes frustrated or fussy while feeding, the baby may not finish the feed fully and they may fall asleep because the effort of feeding is more. And this increased effort of feeding may actually start reflecting in the weight gain and the baby may not gain weight as well as there is more work of feeding. And there are some situations when you may need to consider stepping down in the teeth size as well. So this happens mainly in the premature babies where the flow rate need to be slowed down due to incoordinate sucking and swallowing. And this may be indicated by gulping or hard swallowing when there is coughing, choking or the milk is dripping all the time from the mouth or the baby starts refusing the feed. Sometimes this experience of near choking is scary for the baby and they start uh, refusing the bottle in these cases. So it's very important that we discuss with your doctor if you are not sure about when to change the size. I hope uh, this short video is useful. Please do share.